Okay, we're here at the Everglades Alligator Farm Snake Exhibit. Uh, Florida has 37 non-venomous snake species. Out of those 37, there's three that are found no place else in the world. Well, the one I want to show you right now is a Florida indigo snake. It's a very unique snake. And is it a protected snake? No longer can it be uh, sold or kept on the pet trade. It takes a special permit to have these snakes. Its diet consists of uh, rats, uh, also it'll eat birds, and it'll even eat uh, other snakes. So it's quite a unique snake. Okay, in the snake exhibit you're going to see from the rare to the very common snakes that we have here in Florida. Now this is a common snake. This is your Florida king snake, or sometimes referred to as uh, king of all snakes. And it gets that name because it eats other snakes. Uh, it is quite an opportune eatus that will eat uh, other snakes. It eat, uh, actually even eggs. It'll eat uh, small rodents, rats or mice. And I have actually seen on an occasion where uh, the king snake has eaten even uh, baby turtles. Okay, what I have here is uh, your rat snakes. I have a uh, red rat snake and a yellow rat snake. If you're going to find a snake in your backyards down here in Florida, you're most likely to see one of these. These are the most common non-venomous snakes uh, found down here. Uh, this yellow rat snake in this region, they sometimes refer to as an Everglades rat snake. And the corn snake or the red rat snake is also referred to as a corn snake sometimes. But again, the most common snake that's found here in this area. And uh, they get their name rat snakes uh, because their primary diet consists of uh, small rodents, rats, and mice. And you'll find these uh, on the ground but also up in the uh, trees. This is an eastern diamondback rattlesnake, largest rattlesnake in the United States. This snake here can grow to a maximum length of about six feet when it's full grown. This one here is not a full grown specimen. Now, distinctively to identify a diamondback, you just look on the back and you can see these black blotches here which actually simulate diamonds. And if you look on the side, you can also see the diamonds going down the side here, which gives them the name Diamondback Rattlesnake. This rattlesnake also happens to be in shed, that's why his eyes are milky blue, and he has a rattle on the end of the tail. Like all rattlesnakes, they use it for warning off other animals um, if they happen to be antagonistic to the snake. Carry a large dose of venom, probably a single snake would be capable of killing about four people. Okay, this is a Florida water moccasin, also known as a cottonmouth, so the snake actually has two names. Now, the name cottonmouth given to this snake is used because of its defensive posture. When these snakes are actually frightened or scared, they open up their mouth to display the inside. The inside of the mouth is white, so they nicknamed the snake cottonmouth. Now, cottonmouths, rattlesnakes are known as pit vipers because these snakes have a heat sensor pit located between the nostril and the eye. They actually detect thermal images of warm-blooded animals, enabling these animals to hunt in complete darkness. 